Hello guys, this is Patty and I'm about to make some smothered chicken, old fashioned smothered chicken like mama used to make it when I was growing up. And this is the chicken here. And I have, can you guys see that? Yes, I have seasoned it to taste. I've used Greek seasoning, thyme, uh, smoked paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of salt and pepper. Now, in this bowl, I have mixed those seasonings up here. In this bowl, I've whisked them together. And you can use the seasonings of your choice. It doesn't have to be the seasonings that I use. You may not like those seasonings or whatever, but this is what I'm using. And in my skillet over here, uh, I have put in a little bit of olive oil. This is olive oil and um, avocado oil mixed. And that's what I have in my skillet. Just a little bit of that. And I have my my stove top heating up the oil and I'm doing the chicken um, drumsticks. So I'm going to put a few in here and um, coat them really well. I'm just gonna coat them lightly and put them over in the grease here the oil, the cooking oil. I hope you can see that. Okay, so I'm going to, I'll bring you over to the stove once I get them in the skillet and get them um, frying a little. And I'm going to do probably four or five minutes on one side and the same on the other. I'm just going to sear them, not trying to get them cooked um, all the way done because I am going to smother them and they will be cooking for a while, um, maybe 45 minutes or until done. And I'm just gonna put a few pieces in here. I don't wanna overcrowd my skillet here. But as soon as I get these in, I'm going to bring you over, bring the camera over, and uh, let you see what I have in this skillet and how it's going in just a few minutes. How's everybody today? I hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing well. It's, um, it's a little cool here in the south uh, right now, and... I'm liking the weather. It's not really hot, but I don't like it real, real cold either. So we just have to deal with it. And I will show you step by step what I'm doing here. I have my onions. I have some yellow onions and some, can you see that? And some green onions chopped up here that I'm going to put in. I have my whipping cream, heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna add a little of that in there when I get ready to uh, do what I need to do. Okay, now, hopefully you can see down in that, in that skillet, that's what's going on right now. And I'm going to put this top on there and let it fry. And I have some chicken broth that I'm going to use in addition to the heavy whipping cream, but that will come later once I brown my, um, finish browning all of the chicken. And then I will add just a little piece of butter in here while I um, get my onions a little tender before putting the flour in and the chicken once it's all done. But I'll pause right here and come right back. This is the chicken that I've browned. And I have some more in here. And I had to add a little more of the oil. And once these brown, once these brown up, then I'll take them out. And then I'll add my onion. And I have a little minced garlic. I'll add about a tablespoon of minced garlic with the onion. And I'll put in a little piece of butter, probably 
um, I'll say maybe a teaspoon or so of butter and then I'll bring you back. Okay, I went on and added a tablespoon of butter and I put a tablespoon of minced garlic and as you can see, these are the onions and they're right where I want them. So I will put this about two tablespoons of flour and then I will um, cook the flour taste off it and once I get it kind of brown to where I want the flour taste cooked off then I will add a little um, just a very little of uh, whipping cream, just a little whipping cream, and then I will add some chicken broth, and this is the broth that I'm using today, Progresso unsalted chicken broth, and after I do all of that, then I'll bring you back in when I put the chicken in, but I'll use probably about a fourth a cup of heavy whipping cream, and then I'll just use the chicken broth. Instead of water, I'll be using chicken broth, and I'll pause right here. These are the chicken legs, and I'm getting them to a boil first, and then I will turn down the heat to about medium low, and keep them uh, uh, stirred, and keep a watch on it. And I'll pause right here, and I'll bring you back. Hi, this is a finished product of the smothered chicken legs and gravy with rice and a side of green beans. I've tasted them and they are scrumptious. I cooked them down for about an hour and a half and here they are. Please like, share, subscribe, tap the mm -hmm. notification bell to be reminded of all uploads. Thank you so much for joining. I love each and every one of you. Have a great day, and we will see you on the next video. But before I go, let me show you what's in this pot here. Look at that. Oh, it is a pot full of goodness. Goodbye.